Hello YouTube, it's time to tear down another bit of uh, vintage avionics. Here we have an ADF receiver. Um, if that sounds familiar, it's because yes, I have actually already taken apart an ADF receiver. Um, that one was a, a massive big box uh, full of valves um, from kind of 50s, 60s vintage. This one is sort of 70s vintage. As you can see, it's very, very much uh, smaller, uh, lighter, although actually it's still pretty heavy. 11 pounds, that's how much it weighs. Um, so yeah, this one will be a nice contrast. It's, it's still got a display on the front, but this one's a, uh, a, a different sort. It reads out with a, a, a drum inside that rotates like that instead of the big rotary dial on the front that the last one had. Uh, it's got a couple of uh, connectors on the front and the fairly standard aircraft equipment bay uh, uh, connector on the back. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's take it apart, see what's in it, see how it differs in construction from the, uh, the previous one I've taken apart. Uh, see, so yeah, I've already taken the screws out. So the cover should just slide off. There we go. Ooh, out of focus again. Right, here we go. So already we can see some quite interesting stuff here. We have uh, uh, these, these things, um, which I imagine are some sort of transistor, although in a rather non-standard package. Um, We'll, we'll take a closer look at them uh, when, when we get this whole module out. This whole bit looks a bit like a power supply to me. It's got lots of power stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll see uh, We'll see in more detail when we take it out. We've got lots of RF bits around here. Um, this this whole assembly here is that it, it, it's the same as the same kind of uh, assembly as was in the massive great one. We have a whole load of, of tuned uh, tuned circuits and a mechanical thing that goes up and down. To, uh, to change the tuning on them. And if I just rotate uh, some of the gears in here. You can see here is, is the same sort of assembly. I'll just zoom in a bit so you can actually see. Ooh, wrong one. Here is the exact same uh, type of assembly that the last one has. We have all these ferrites on, on a little stage. Um, which uh, which is motorized and goes up and down. This one has uh, what looks like a nice little ball screw in there, which is quite a nice touch. Um, and and they all go into uh, coils in these things. You can see uh, actually they they labeled it in this occasion. Loop mod osc sense mixer. Um, yeah, don't know uh, don't know what they're doing really um, apart from what it says, but. Uh, yeah, there we go. We have a nice precision multi-turn potentiometer here. Um, on the other side, uh, oh, zoom out again. On the other side, we can't see a whole lot. Sense and mod here. I guess that's some more tuned circuits. Uh, the rear of that mechanical assembly. A flip-out board here, and this section is all to do with the, uh, the mechanical readout on the front. So yeah, let's get on and take it apart some more. So yep, yeah, we have the same sort of construction as we had in the other uh, Bendix avionics boxes I've taken apart recently. With flip out boards for very uh, very easy servicing. Um, lots of potted, uh, all these, these look like transformers. Um, lots of tantalum capacitors and these big green, I guess they're uh, micro, uh, not micro, um, Polyester capacitors. Um, uh, yeah, what else have we got? Model hole, model hole like that. Let's let's do the other side. <laughs> Unlike some of the other boxes, it's not immediately obvious what order things are supposed to come apart in. Well, that's interesting. We went to all the effort to put a put a connector on here to connect it to this. Uh, in fact, connect this whole module to, to this part, and then they had some some coax going off that just solders in. So you can't disconnect it anyway. That's a, that's uh, a bit annoying and weird.
yeah, I had to snip them off. So what's the point of that then, if you're going to have to snip some off anyway? Okay, fine. Right, so that thing did not really want to uh, to come apart, at least not as easily as the other ones, uh, as the other boxes I've taken apart lately. So here we have basically all the mechanical stuff with a little bit of RF stuff on top. Um, yeah, let's set that aside for now and continue looking at this one. Okay, so this is uh, a tuning assembly. We've got a couple of quartz crystals, very large quartz crystals here. Extremely large quartz crystals. One for 2.5 kilohertz, and that one's one for 1.48 kilohertz. Okay, um, some lo lots of big tuning uh, cans here. A uh, whole bunch of uh, silver mica capacitors. Yeah, okay, that's very boring. This old thing. Uh, Right, okay, so these things have two terminals by the look of it, and They are labelled on the board as XQ. And so are the transistors. So these must be transistors. KM7042. Well, I shall have to look that up. And uh, yeah, a whole bunch of transformers, reasonably boring. Um, lots of uh, lots of capacitors. Does look a bit like a power supply that one. Um, on here, yeah, we've seen that already. That's pretty boring. Um, a little bits of coax going to it and some trimmers. So that's maybe uh, yeah. Don't know. Does it say? No, it doesn't say on the board. <laughs> oh, interestingly. So we know they can do PCBs because they've done this PCB. And then they've done the rest of it on this kind of stuff. So why, why, why would they mix techniques like like that? It uh, it just doesn't make sense. Um, anyway, there we go. All right, let's get that out of the way. And this is probably the most interesting bit. So let's start here. These bits look like they should uh, flip out quite easily. Okay, so we've got some RF tuning stuff in there, what looked like a couple of uh, pots or trimmers. Again, some more tuning stuff. Oh, actually, these don't have anything on the other side, so uh, maybe they're actually transformers of some sort. Yeah, more uh, tuned analog RF stuff in there. Okay, that's the front panel with the front connectors. And here we get the nice stuff. Hmm. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? Yep, well that is a very nice uh, very nice gear train assembly there. Um, let's see if we can uh, take this whole bit out. So 
So again, we had a connector and a bit of coax that I had to cut. So here is the display assembly and mounted on there we have a something I can't quite see. Synchro transmitter, that's that thing. And there is a servo control monitor. Okay, I guess that's just some sort of motory thing. Yeah, some sort of AC motory thing. Um, yeah, well, there we go. Yeah, we have a few. Uh, a few wires going to this which are actually soldered on as well as just the connector there so uh, yeah not quite sure what's going on there that one might be for a backlight behind this thing uh, I'm not quite sure what that one's doing there appear to be some connections uh, going through to this thing let's see if we can get that off because there's, there's more to this than meets the eye I think let's zoom in a bit as well going on there so uh, yeah that's very interesting this whole outer assembly is potted with uh, a few windings around it So maybe they were actually using the display as uh, as an actual active component that was uh, that was responsible for driving driving an output somehow. Um, yeah, that's really a bit strange, isn't it? Very nicely engineered, though. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that's just the uh, the tuning tuning modules that we've looked at previously. And these are the the, the coils that these ferrites go into. And here we have probably some sort of motor. Can't quite see what it says apart from precision something. Eater, weight meter, possibly. So anyway, this is some sort of servo system with a, a feedback potentiometer here and uh, some sort of uh, actuator here. Um, yeah, those are the three inductors with their the right cord there. 